Hey everyone, welcome back. I've decided to rebrand this channel into a Manhua tutorial channel. If you're into creating Manhua recaps, you're in the right place. I'm going to be covering everything you need to know. How to edit your videos, how to write engaging scripts, how to design eye-catching thumbnails, when's the best time to upload, and what's trending right now in the Manhua niche. Today we're starting with one of the most important parts of your content, the thumbnail. Your thumbnail is the first thing people see, and it can make the difference between someone clicking on your video or just scrolling past so it's crucial to get it right. In this video, I'll show you two main types of thumbnails that are working really well for Manhua channels at the moment and how you can create them easily using Canva, even if you're a complete beginner. And for those of you who prefer editing on your phone, don't worry. I'll also show you how to make an awesome thumbnail directly on your mobile device so you can create high quality content on the go. Let's look at the first type, which I like to call hero to loser. To make this, open Canva and go to the search bar at the top. Type in YouTube thumbnail. Click on the blank template that comes up. This template is already perfectly sized for YouTube thumbnails at 1280 by 720 pixels, so you don't need to adjust anything. Next, go to the Upload section on the left side of your screen. Click on Upload Files and select any images you want to use for your thumbnail. Once your images are uploaded, just drag them onto the canvas. You can resize or reposition them however you like. The main idea is to show two very different images of the same character side by side. This could be a before and after, a transformation scene, or any drastic change that makes viewers curious. Now, let's add a border to make your thumbnail stand out. Click on the image. Look for the three lines or the adjust panel, depending on your Canva layout. Choose how thick you want your border to be and pick a color that matches your overall design or contrast nicely for impact. Next, it's time to edit your images to make them look more vibrant and eye-catching. Click on the first image, then hit Edit Photo. You can simply press the Auto button, which automatically improves brightness, contrast, and other settings. But here's a tip that makes a big difference. Increase the vibrant slider. This makes your colors pop and gives your thumbnail that bright high energy look that does well on YouTube. Repeat the same edits for your second image. Once your images look great, it's time to add text. Click on the text option and write your text. Make sure to increase the font size to at least 50 so it's big enough to read, even on small screens. Pick a bold and clear font so your words are easy to see. Change the text color to yellow because it's vibrant, eye-catching, and very popular in YouTube thumbnails across different niches, not just Manhua recaps. After you set your text color, Go into the Effects section and add an outline to your text. Choose black for the outline color. This makes the yellow text pop even more and ensures it doesn't blend into the background, no matter what images you're using. Now copy and paste your text box so you can quickly create a second line of text. Change the wording so it matches your second image or emphasizes the transformation you're showing. For example, you might have weak over one image and overpowered over the other. Finally, copy and paste another text box and drag it to the top of the thumbnail. Here. Type in details like a chapter number, a part number, or any small label that helps viewers know what they're about to watch. And that's it. You've just created a clean, vibrant YouTube thumbnail in Canva that's perfect for highlighting a zero to hero manhua. I will link this thumbnail down below, so all you have to do is change the images. Just a shortcut for you. Let's move to the second most popular thumbnail. Download PixArt from the App Store. If you don't have it yet, open the app and in the search bar type YouTube thumbnail, then pick any free template to start with. Once it opens, hide all the layers from the template so you have a blank canvas and change the background color to white. Next, tap Add Photo and add your three images, preferably one villain, one hero, and one waifu, and arrange them on the canvas, sizing and aligning them neatly, making sure the middle image is on top of the other layers so it stands out. Then select each photo one by one and adjust their brightness, clarity, sharpness, and any other settings to enhance them. When you're done, tap the middle photo again and add a border, choosing your desired size, color, and style. After that, it's time for text. Go back, tap on text, type in your title or any words you want, choose an appropriate font, and add a stroke or outline to make the text stand out. And here's a tip, always use yellow for text because it's vibrant and really pops. You can simply duplicate the text layer to add matching text to the other two images if needed. If you'd like, you can also add an arrow by tapping the stickers icon, searching for arrow, and picking one to draw attention to your main subject, although that part is optional. Oh, I forgot, click on the image and go the effect icon, find focal zoom. Here you can set the focus on the face blur just a little on the sides logically tidy ups your image a bit. Finally, once you're happy with your thumbnail, tap export. You might have to watch an ad, but then your design will be saved to your device. Wait, before you leave, I have two very important things to say. First, please join my Discord. The link's down below. Let's connect, chat, and share info about all that good stuff. Second, since I won't be creating manhwas on this channel anymore, I thought, why not offer my services instead? For the time being, I'm only providing script writing services. So if you need help with your scripts, feel free to drop me an email. And don't worry, as some of you who've already worked with me know, 
I always keep my prices reasonable for my subscribers. We can talk it through and find what works best for you. Now go back and keep editing your 10 hour video. Haha, <laughs> see you next time.